What's up YouTube, Snatchpato here with Tactic of the Day number 13. This game was played in 1960 between Polgavsky and Zilagyi. I think the pronunciation is okay for those guys. It looks difficult though. Anyway, point is, here's a tactic. White to move. If you would like some time solving it, make sure you check out the game or analysis board link that's in the description down below if you would like to play the moves over the board. But if you want to improve your calculation skills, try it in your head. See if you can figure it out because I'm about to show you the answer. Okay, if you need more time, make sure you pause the video again. The move in this position is Rook G1. Now, Rook G1 is a really strong move. The king can't come up to either of these squares because the rook covers them. It can't come down because the pawn covers it. And you'll find that if king goes to h5, we have rook takes h7, checkmate. So that's not any good, right? So the only logical move for the king is king h6. Now, unfortunately, we don't have checkmate here. Um, but we do have a surprising bishop f8 check deflecting this rook. Now, if the king comes down, we have the same checkmate as before. So... Uh, it just stands to reason that the bishop must be captured. And you'll see why this is important right now, because the rook is no longer on the D file, and that's the point. Because our next move, and the real killer in this position, is rook D3. Rook D3 with the unstoppable threat of rook H3 checkmate, right? With the double rooks. The double rooks. Too strong. The only way to delay it for one move is bishop E1, trying to, excuse me, trying to cover on h4, but after rook check, bishop h4, and then rook takes h4. That's checkmate, guys. No denying it, that's checkmate. And honestly, there's no other variations. If, uh, so after bishop f8, uh, let, let's prove, let's show why we can't play rook d3 straight away, because of course, rook takes rook. And so that's why the sacrifice came on f8 from the bishop, to deflect this rook. Classic piece deflection strategy. Now rook d3 can't be captured, and just if rook here we still checkmate like for example there's no time to get in between in the way right and the only other move is just bishop e1 and we don't we don't worry about capturing because we've got checkmate guys so we're going to take the checkmate we're going to take that to the bank <laughs> okay so i hope you guys enjoyed that tactic if you did like the video make sure you like the video share subscribe all that good stuff i'll catch you guys in the next video stay classy peace